So I don't know how I came upon this mess, child. Mm, mm, mm. I think it was a content creator. Who, where this girl, this female lady, woman, child, I don't know what you want to call her, put her relationship out here on Front Street, okay? So we're going to go through it similarly to how we went through it with the girl who got S-H-O-O-T'd in her stomach when she became pregnant by her man, her man, her boyfriend, okay? So the person that's posting this just took the information from this girl's account and so... This is not the girl that's posting this, okay? So when we talk about accountability and there is no accountability, I would like to know who's responsible for this at the end of the day, okay? So this young lady here in the picture, and if you can see what the name is, please don't go to this person's TikTok. Thank you. So she says, began drinking the Dom Biatch juice in June 2021. So in other words, she started to be stupid when it came to d and a g-u-n probably that's how i'm gonna look at it, okay so that's what she said but she gotta make sure she posing for you though yeah girl we see you go girl you go girl um ngl child y'all got to help me with that i don't know what that means i thought buddy was kind of ugly in the beginning so this is her and that's her man that's her man that's bay okay ngl y'all let me know what that means um, and she's putting this out into the world. That's why we're going to talk about it. Shout out to Martel Lamar. Not going to lie. Thank you. Thank you. Shout out to you. So she thought he was ugly. Ah, but that didn't stop her from being a part of his life or bringing him into her life. Okay. Okay. So then she got this, life was great. I had just started braiding in my first salon. Yeah, girl, you go, girl, do that hair, child. She opened up business, y'all, okay? She ain't that, you know, she cute, she cute. You can see your nipples, child. You might want to put a bra on, but you know, you young. Go, girl, go, girl. Which I felt was perfect because he was a great practice head. All right. So we're going to date this guy because he's a good practice head. Okay. I'm thinking somebody need to clean this room, but that's just me. Okay. I didn't even see this head at first. I saw all this. What is going on? If somebody don't clean the F up, child. All right. He ugly, but he a good, he a good head to, to, um, you know, do some things on, I guess. All right. All right. Cool. All right, girl. Good. You get your practice on. Good for you. Good for you. So here's part two. She was mad at him. ASF. We know what that means. He let this little coat get so dirty. So it's a Calvin Klein coat, child. You get this in Macy's for probably forty nine dollars. I mean, she acting like this is something that costs three thousand dollars. It's Calvin Klein. No tea, no shade. It ain't that expensive. OK. So it is a little dirty, though. But shh, looking at that room, what difference does it make? Sorry. All right, child. What else? What else? Did I skip one? Oh, so I did skip one. So she said she started doing everything for him. Okay. She put this out here. She started doing everything for him. So she bought him this coat. And honestly, this is, um, I don't know. I don't know, but it's looking like Burlington. Co oh, it's TJ Maxx. Child, I was about to say Burlington Coat Factory. It's TJ Maxx. I see this. Let's see the thing right here. So it didn't even cost that much. Child, you didn't even go to Macy's for this. All right. No, no offense against TJ Maxx, you know, no problem with it. But this woman is trying to act like she went and spent $5,000 on, on this daggone jacket. So he don't treat it bad, treat it right. You know why? Because people who don't work for anything don't tend to treat things especially well. Okay. I've said it before. I say it again. If you don't have to work for anything, when someone gives you something, you think they're going to take care of it. You would think they would be grateful for it. But most times out of 10, unfortunately, they're like, F it. You could just get another one. Plus, these people look young, right? All right. They're young. All right. Generation Z. Shout out to y'all. So it says this is her side and this is his side. So in the blue, it says iPhone. Shout out to the iPhones. How much you got? And then she got the money sign. And then she said, never mind. I'm fitting, I guess, to book this room for tomorrow. Come at nine. So he says, you know, I'm broke and okay, you off at nine. She said 930. So this is the hotel that she's booking for them, right? Homewood Suites. Pretty decent, right? 
She says, got the good one. Hope you got swim trunks or we can go naked. Girl, don't be going in the public pool naked, okay? Don't. We do not want to see that, all right? Get a room with a jacuzzi inside of it then. So then he says, send $10 so I can walk Penn Station. So he's in NYC. She said, I don't have that on cash app. My ish is effed. So she sent her visa information to him. That's what this is. So this is PNC. Shout out to PNC. I know my banks, y'all. And she, the front and the back. So you can get the, you know, the CV, CV, CVV code and the expiration date and the whole number. All right. So now not only do you have it for this particular case, you got it for good. Okay. Cause you just sent it all to him. Right. He said, what's the zip code? So now he got the zip code too. Cause you know, when you make purchases, sometimes you, the gas station, they say, what's your, um, your zip code to, so you can make sure it's you. So she's giving this to him. So a little fun fact, y'all, if you give your information to someone and they can prove, meaning the bank that you gave it to them, you can't come back later and try to talk about somebody stole something from you. You can't. You gave it to them. You gave them the information. And if you do want to say that it was stolen or they did something they weren't supposed to, then you got to you got to um have them arrested. You at least got to call the police. But, you know, nobody's going to do that. So you willing to give up all your bank info for this deadbeat? The one that wasn't taking care of the jacket, y'all. Okay. Let's not forget that part. That expensive, wonderful jacket there, child. So I don't know if this is the same day. It says, did Chime ever send you back that money? I don't, I don't, I think Chime is a, a, a debit card of some sort or something. Um, so then she got all the question marks and then it says, what security to your Chime card? I don't know what that means. Pick up. She says, even when he disputed my car note payment with money, I sent him to pay it with. It's an emergency. She says, like, I guess that's supposed to be WTF is wrong with you. I'm on my way up there, literally on my way, leaving work now because you got me effed up. I told you this could happen. So the note here to explain this is saying that even when he disputed my car note payment, with money I sent him to pay it with. So she's saying she was still being stupid. She gave him money to pay her car note. Now, why would you give him money to pay your car note? Just pay your car note, right? Am I crazy? This don't make good God sense. So you're going to send money to somebody that's already broke, thinking that they're going to pay your bills when they ain't even got no bills and you're the only one with money and you keep giving it to them. So that's why she's saying her stupid juice. She's taking her stupid juice, right? So he says, I guess I got to take my shoes up to soul revival because I'm down right now. I don't know what that means, y'all. I can't, I can take them shoes up there. I'm sorry, her name. I really, I'm about to do something because I'm sorry for real. She said they almost repoed her car. <laughs> so they almost repoed her car because she gave him the money to go pay her car. <laughs> Why would you be doing that, right? Child, she says, it's okay. We'll get it figured out. Just please leave me alone. And I just hope and pray you use that money for something good. Damn, F that. Woo, child. Mm, mm, mm. Shout out to Zillionaire. Mm, I'm not saying he got a D. I'm, I mean, a G-U-N, but he's most certainly got some D. He got to. Ugly and all. Remember, she said he was ugly. NGL, not going to lie. Y'all, I probably forget that by tomorrow, but shout out to y'all for keeping me. Keeping me on point. Appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Please like the stream if you haven't. And if you are new, please go ahead and subscribe. I appreciate you. But that was my man. That was my man, and I was sticking beside him. So let's pause here for a second, right? I know how the story's going to end. Y'all don't know how the story's going to end. But just, let's just say, let's just imagine that God forbid, right, that he red rums her. You know what they're going to say. Oh, my God, every 5.5, every 5.5. This ain't right. Crusty, dusty, musty, ashy. Crusty, dusty, musty, ashy. Oh, crusty, dusty, musty, ashy. But we just going to ignore all this? Or she'll call the police. They not going to be able to go because they over here with the SWAT team over in Philly with the 19 year old who running out with who whatever getting SHOT'd up, right? 
And it's going to be like, oh, my God, the police failed us. Oh, my God, the police, they didn't do their job. Oh, my God. Even though six months later was defund the police. Defund the police. Defund. Defund. Defund the police. Just what I'm saying. It's just whatever the mood is, we just going to change it, change it, change it. Blame, shame. Make somebody else explain. This woman, and sh let's go ahead and give her some credit. She's admitting that she was dumb in this case, right? At least she's admitting it. But God forbid, if something were to happen to her, you know that is not how it's going to be portrayed. I don't know if she has any kids. I hope not, okay? She was a good mama. She was a good girl. She was trying to get her business together. She did everything for him. And he wasn't no good, you know, crusty and dusty. Because, you know, black men, black men, black men, black men, black men, black men. It's all them. It's all them. It's all them. Oh, but she certainly liked him, ugly and all. She certainly chose him, ugly and all. She certainly rode for him literally and figuratively she certainly gave him access to her bank account she certainly gave him money she certainly bought him clothes she's certainly up here showing him off in all these pictures because this is on um tiktok somewhere right but oh no 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 we not gonna look at any of that it's gonna be you see what they do black men stay away from them they ain't no good they ain't got nothing going on they remedial we better than them they got our business he don't do nothing we better than you why don't you go find something to do you can't read you can't act you can't sing you can't do anything all this bs and completely ignore all of this which is when I, which is why when I saw this, of course, I'm like, ain't no way we not going to talk about this. Ain't no way I'm not going to bring this up because odds are, and I'm not giving a percentage because I don't know, but the odds are is that you knew the person wasn't sugar, honey, iced tea to begin with, and you rolled out with them anyway. She said it from the gate. She wasn't even, she thought this man was ugly from the gate and she still went and did all this. Come on now, we got to do better. We have to do better than this. And you can't be sitting up here saying it's all him. Now he ain't sugar, honey, I see. Let's not get it twitted, twisted. He ain't shit. He's not. But what I, I just would like to know, because we don't see it, right? What is it that he had to do in order to get her to just open up everything, including her wallet, including her time, including her car, including herself, everything everything why is it that you some of you women females ladies girls are so desperate and then turn around and be like i don't care i don't care you know good i don't need no man i don't need no man and then in re all reality a lot of times it turns out like this somebody lying somebody lying but anyway, all right, that's our man. She's going to stick by her man. Go ahead, girl. He ain't got nothing, but you stick by him, child. You going to stick by him, child. So this is, um, I think his baby mom, child, yep, he got children with somebody else. So it says, um, in the middle of a high speed, in the middle of a high speed biatch, Biatch, come get me, please. I'm up the street. So I'm um, I'm thinking a high speed chase, maybe. Um, sheesh, jump out that MF for where you at, right? And then drop the location, right? And then said, Come on, OMG Biatch, hold on, don't come there. It says, have my ass in a high in high speed chases, I'm assuming, with his broke A N words and everything. So she out here in high speed chases, probably in her own damn car with him, for him, about him, around him, something. Right? Wh what? I'm sorry, what? In the car that he tried to base, that he basically stole the money to do whatever he was doing with somebody else or somewhere else for some other reason? Child. I really honestly... I really honestly have never heard half of the mess that I've heard since I've been here on YouTube, y'all. People really act like this in real life. IRL. What in the world? 
All right, so never mind. You can go ahead and drive safe. Love you. Giving Major the phone. Oh, isn't that sweet? Oh, he love her. He love her. She said, okay, baby, you sure? I don't mind coming back. Oh, so you don't mind coming back. Oh, this is February the 14th. Hold up. Oh, this is April. Okay, so this is older. So this is February 14th, so it's Valentine's Day. Yeah, baby, I love you. All right, he just got to throw an I love you out there and everything's all good in the hood. Okay. So he says, yes, I'm chill. She says, I was going to smoke anyways, something, something, I guess. I don't, I don't know what that says. I can't read it. Um, he says, is okay. And sends her, her uh, a kiss. She says, good night. And he says, good night, drive safe. So it says she wrote in here in January. He told me he had to start staying at his baby mom house some nights because she start working thirds. They got four kids. Pause. Because I just got to take a second here, y'all. Let me read that again. In January, he told me he had to start staying at his baby mom house some nights because she start working thirds. They got four kids, a.k.a. start dropping his ass off every night because, you know, he had no car. I know you effing lying. So she this girl was dropping him off at the baby mom's house. Child. Child. Mental health is a thing, and I'm not blaming it on that. But this person has no sense of self. No self-esteem, no common sense, no sense that God gave her, no type of smarts, so desperate, so willing to put up with anything, going for everything, believing anything that this person said from someone that had nothing but four. How do you have four children and you don't work and ain't got no money? How do you have four children with one woman? See, in my head, this is just me, my two cents, okay? Say I was to meet a man, just, just go with me with this. Say I was out here dating and I met a man that had four kids, okay, with one woman, which is great. That's good. That's what it should be, okay? Stop having them doing future in the canon stuff. They never was married. He ain't got ish. He ain't got a job. I'm sorry. How do you have four kids and you don't have anything? How do you have four kids and you don't have anything? And how did even that woman with the, the baby mom allow this man to impregnate you for with four kids and he has nothing but it's always the crusty dusty musty that's the problem and i'm here to show that it ain't just a crusty dusty and musty man it's the crusty and dusty musty ashy female Hate it, love it, I don't care. The facts and the truth are the facts and the damn truth. She's finally putting it out here right daggone now. Why are you dealing with a man that don't even have any money? He can't take you to the hotel, no job, putting you on chases, you giving him your card, you sitting up here dropping him off at his baby's mom's house. So what does that mean? You ain't got no house either? He can't stay with you? Well, who, who does that junky room belong to? But that's not important. I'm just saying. This is ass ridiculous, okay? You, you, don't, you don't want anything. You don't require anything. And then they will turn around and say, oh, it's all his fault. Oh, it's all his fault. Now, listen, it's plenty his fault, but damn it, you own this responsibility for bringing this person into your life and allowing this to happen. That's the problem is that we just ignore that part. Everybody want to ignore that part. We not ignoring that over here. And she put this out here. So let's get it on. Okay. Hopefully she learned something from this. Hopefully the girl that was S-H-O-T-T in her stomach really and truly learned something from this. They brought this on themselves and it's not because the person was black. It's because that's who they, they wanted. She said he was ugly. She still went with him. She wasn't even initially attracted to the man. That's her fault. How are you going to not be attracted to someone and still give them the time of day? 
Oh, he she was scared that he was gonna hurt her, y'all. Miss because I can hear it now, y'all. I can hear it now. Miss me with all that BS. Who child? So he said, Good night, drive safe. She said, Love you too. And I had fun with you this weekend too. Maybe it was at the hotel she paid for. Me too. Thanks for all you've done. I really appreciate you. Well, at least he got some nice words, some kind words for her. And then says, of course, baby, you know, I got you. Mm, mm, mm. Well, shit. Long as long as she got you, I guess you good. She got you with everything. And then you got the baby mom, child. You got the baby mom. Oh, y'all thought it was over? No, 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 no. So now she says the ish start getting toxic. Okay. She thinks it just started getting toxic. Mm, mm, mm. so um i don't know what this is i think this is the baby mom yo you, wait you were so tough now i come with my peoples you nutty child i can't if anybody can interpret this mess i can't i'm just reading it bra bra actually but i hear it bra i'm outside all oh, or oh, the girl's name has your car Wait, bro, I'm outside. Somebody else has your car? Wait, what? Give me your sugar honey iced tea. Weak biatch, your car through. You people's about to be calling. I let them know what, yo. Listen, I don't know what that means. But she said this is toxic. And since this does not say the dude's name, I'm assuming that this is from the baby mom. I'm assuming, okay? But maybe she took his name out. I don't know. But can't can't play this because this is a screenshot. So she had to get toxic. So, of course, that's what you do. You you don't just leave. You don't just leave them alone. You don't move on. You don't move out. You don't do anything but start to cut up his shoes. She said she had to get toxic, too. Listen, she lives the way she lives. Look at this. Like, I know it's the car, but everything is junky. Child. Mm, mm, mm. But I was still taking shots of the dumb biatch juice and had no plans on rehabbing anytime soon so they still got back together oh look at that so in love shout out to beyonce okay i mean whose fault is it here seriously at this point whose fault is it he he another man um, another male let me rephrase another male who's getting everything that he wants and needs right this Girl is not half bad looking, right? Seriously, he she's she's not that bad looking. I know she's chunky, y'all. Let's just let's just overlook that for a second. She's not a bad looking person. She crazy, okay? Let's not get it twisted. She crazy, okay? And he still ain't looking no better. So he all rough, tough with his afro puffs and living with his baby mom while she go drop him off. And they still going back and forth and carrying on. Which, thank God, it, I don't believe that there are any um, children. Thank God. Thank God for small favors. But she's going to stay. So she want to call it the dumb biatch juice, right? She definitely dumb. Okay? Let's not get that twisted. All right? So that's her. I mean, th I mean, she got the spider's makeup in the weave of a child. The Pause. Hmm. 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 Mm, child, I can't with y'all. I just can't do it. Child, these things look like they glittering from across the room. Look at how much of a shadow is putting on her face. Let me let me stay focused. It says, until we got into real bad, until we got into real bad this night and I pulled down to baby mama house to beat the biatch up. How you gonna go to her house to beat her up over a man that you're dropping off at her house any daggone way? Come on, sister wise. I'm gonna need y'all to understand what you're doing, where you're going, what's going on, okay? What is I this? Oh, child. These spiders look like they got lights on them or something. Like, like for Christmas. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my God. I can't do it. I can't do it, y'all. This is crazy. Oh my God. They got a whole name. Sorry, y'all. Please don't go look for this woman. So it says they both beat my ass. His baby mom, big as F, and then called 12 and sent my ass to the JC jail, I guess, for two days. Child. Child, what? 
I'm sorry, what? I can't do it. So she been dropping him off at the baby mom's house because he had to help with the kids, right? And then all of a sudden something don't seem right. Something, 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 something just ain't right. So she goes to try to check it out and end up in jail. Beat up by him and the baby mom. Now she got a record. Child. Mm. Yo, this is June 2022, y'all. This ain't even that long ago. This ain't even like one of them long ago stories. <laughs> She's at her arrest in June 2022. Sheesh. And then